Hi, sweet and friendly YouTube mamas. This is Celestial Cindy from www.celestialcindy.com and this is my three and a half month old sweet little baby Philip. And today in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Mimo pillow. So I took sweet little Philip to his, uh, to his baby doctor, to his pediatrician, and Philip's pediatrician recommended that I buy this special Mimo pillow uh, because the back of Philip's head is kind of flat um, because Philip sleeps through the night now. He sleeps um, eight hours every night, so he's spending um, eight hours laying on his back, and I think that's contributing to the back of his head being uh, kind of flat. So basically, Philip's pediatrician said you can try doing more tummy time with him, or you can also try buying this Mimo pillow. So after I left Philip's pediatrician appointment, I came home and I Googled the Mimo pillow and I found the Mimo pillow for sale on Amazon. And so I decided to order this little Mimo pillow for Philip. And he's laying on the Mimo pillow right now. You can see him. Say hi. So this is the Mimo pillow that I bought off of Amazon. Um, the Mimo pillow is $115 plus like $7 in tax. So uh, I think I paid $122 total uh, to purchase the Mimo pillow off of Amazon. So this pillow was $122 because uh, it was $115 plus like $7 in tax. So this is the $122 Mimo pillow, and it's supposed to help babies that have a flat back of the head uh, to give your baby a more round-shaped back of their head. And even though it's expensive, um, I think it's worth it so far um, because I think the alternative is if you don't buy the Mimo pillow to try to get your baby's head shape more round in the back, that you might have to go see like a helmet specialist and your baby might have to wear like a helmet on their head to get your baby's head uh, more round shaped in the back. So I thought if it's the $122 Mimo pillow or Philip wearing a helmet, I'm gonna try the $122 Mimo pillow and see if this Mimo pillow can round out the back of Philip's head. So I wanted to show you the box. And he, he looks like he's happy. He's, he's happy just chilling on his Mimo pillow. There's a little pillow. And when he lifts up his head, I'll show you while well, he's doing it right now. There's like a little tiny uh, indention. Like the pillow kind of dips down in a circle shape. Um, so it helps round out the back of your little baby's head. But this is the box that the Mimo pillow came in. So I ordered it on Amazon. I paid $122 and then I had to wait maybe five days to a week. And then this package came outside and I ran outside and got the package. And the box just says, here I'll read you what the box says. It says, Mimo's pillow prevents and corrects positional school deformities in babies. So prevents and corrects positional school deformities in babies. And then it says anatomical. This pillow adapts to the shape and movements of the baby's head. And then it says breathable and safe. Laboratory certified and validated by experts for its safety. Holds very low CO2 levels. And it says this Mimo pillow is soft and comfortable. And it says baby gets a better sleep when they're sleeping on the Mimo pillow. Which I haven't let Philip sleep on the Mimo pillow yet. Just because I feel like, you know, some, some organization recommends you not putting pillows or comforters in your baby's bed. So I just decided we would try uh, laying Philip on the Mimo's pillow during the daytime. So I haven't let him sleep on the Mimo pillow overnight yet, but I have let him lay on the little Mimo pillow during the daytime to try to round out the back of 
his sweet little head. And then the box says OKEC Tex 100 certificate. I'm not sure what that means says textiles free from harmful substances. Okay, so it says there's no harmful substances in the Mimo pillow that he's laying on. And then it has this little uh, medical symbol in the corner of the box. Looks legit. Uh, and then it just says clinically proven. So it says this pil Mimo pillow is clinically proven. It says, did you know positional skull deformities affect 46.6% of babies? These deformities can cause cosmetic problems in the baby's face and head, leading to low self-esteem. We don't want the low self-esteem. <laughs> if it's the $122 pillow or the low self-esteem, it's time to buy the $122 Mimo pillow <laughs> for your baby. Isn't that right? We don't want low self-esteem. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, it just says like hazard-free, rebreathing safe. And then, hold on. This is the box that I just now read to you. And that's where it says uh, the Mimo's pillow that you can get on Amazon for $122. It'll ship to your house in like a week. Oh, and I'm gonna put a link in this video's description uh, to the Amazon app or the Amazon website, uh, the exact link where I clicked on the Amazon link to purchase this pillow and to order it. So I got the Mimos pillow on Amazon. And let's just see, is there anything else interesting? Oh, this is the side of the box. It says Mimo's pillow, and then it says uh, anatomical, breathable, soft, and comfortable. Anatomical, breathable, soft, and comfortable. And then on the back of the Mimo pillow, it says, what are positional school deformities? What is flat head syndrome? Deformities in the baby's head resulting from constant external pressure on the skull. Most of these deformities mm. appear during the baby's first year, especially in the first four months. So Philip is not quite four months old yet. He's like three and a half months old right now. So he has the flat back of the head. He mm. almost sat up. He's like, yeah, I don't want the flat back of the head. I, I want the Mimo pillow. <laughs> and then it says the positioning of the baby's head is one of the main reasons for the appearance of these deformities. So if you lay your baby flat on his back, um, then that could make their head flat, I guess. And maybe this little pillow with the little circular indention in the center might help uh, round out your baby's head, give your baby a more round back of their head. And then it shows a little diagram on the back um, right here. And it shows the normal one, and then it shows the, I don't even know how to pronounce that, plagiocephaly. Yeah, so there's normal, there's plagiocephaly, there's brachycephaly, and there's uh, scaphalocephaly. So my baby Philip's uh, pediatrician or doctor diagnosed Philip with the plagiocephaly. So I guess the plagiocephaly and the other little deformities, it's just like uh, the back of your baby's head is not completely round, basically. And this pillow is supposed to uh, make your baby's head look like the normal picture right there. And let's read some more about the Mimos pillow. It says, why are they a problem? These deformities, both facial and cranial, can create visible aesthetic and self-esteem problems. And then it says, the flattening of part of the skull can affect other parts of the head and lead to further displacements or deformities in the baby's ears and or different areas of the face. So basically, your baby's uh, face can get kind of asymmetrical 
if um, they don't lay on the Mimo pillow that has that shapes the baby's head more perfectly and roundly. And then it says Mimo's pillow. The Mimo's pillow was designed especially to prevent and correct cranial deformities during the baby's first few months. It is designed for baby to sleep and rest in the supine face-up position as recommended by experts in the campaign for the prevention of sudden infant death syndrome. The pillow increases the area of contact beneath the head, reducing the pressure by up to four times. And then it has a little picture. He's playing on the Mimo pillow. It has a little picture of the pressure. So it's showing, I guess, all the pressure in one spot versus the pressure more evenly distributed uh, on the back of the baby's head when the back of the baby's head is laying on this special $122 Mimo pillow. Let's go. And then it says, prevention. The Mimo's pillow has been found to be extremely effective at preventing skull deformities. Correction. According to clinical studies, the Mimos pillow visibly improves the results of the correction and positional skull deformities. And then it says, indications. If used to prevent plagiocephaly, which this is, plagiocephaly is what Philip's pediatrician diagnosed him with. If used to prevent plagiocephaly, it is recommended for the first six months of life. For correction, see a specialist and use the pillow in addition to tummy time and the physiotherapy indicated in your specific case, and the results may vary. And then the Mimos pillow says how to use the Mimos pillow. Ideal for use in cots and prams. Not sure what a pram is. Position baby face up supine so that their head is within the pillow cavity. So you want your baby's head in the little indention, which you can see, see there's a little hole back there. And then it says Mimos on the little side. So you want your baby's head in the little hole, which I might need to scoop Philip up a little bit to get him positioned a little bit better on the Mimos pillow. <laughs> Cause he's trying to turn on his little side right now, isn't he? And then, uh, so put the baby's head in the hole in the center of the pillow. And then it says, caution. The Mimos pillow does not prevent SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome. Mimos has been proven to be highly effective in the prevention of and recovery from a skull deformity when used as a complementary measure. So it should be used in addition to the treatments prescribed by your pediatrician or neurosurgeon. Mimos pillow size P can be used in group zero devices when they are used as strollers, but is no, but is no approved for use with the car in motion for safety reasons. So it basically just says caution, don't use the Mimos pillow in your car seat because there's like safety precaution. So just use the Mimos pillow like on your bed at home or like I have only used the Mimos pillow um, like when I can supervise Philip. Like I said, I don't let Philip sleep on the Mimos pillow uh, at night because he, as you can see, he can kind of turn to his side. So I don't want him to like smother in the Mimos pillow like while he's sleeping, but I think the Mimos pillow is fine as long as you're supervising your baby. You might be able to put the Mimos pillow in your baby's bouncy seat, or you could just lay your baby on the Mimos pillow. pillow. See, there's the indention right there. On your bed while you're laying on your bed, chilling with your baby. But yeah, so this is just a little review of the Mimos pillow. And uh, I guess I could open the box. I think there's some more papers in there, but basically this just pillow is just to help round out the back of your baby's head. And yeah, I think I read everything on the box. And it just had the pillow and has some little packaging that the pillow was wrapped in. We got a little, little package, a little present. And let's see what the internal Mimos pillow paperwork says. Um, well, there's like some little things. Yep. <laughs>
Okay, well, there's like a little pamphlet insert of how to put your baby on the pillow. So it looks like Philip looks like the little baby on the on the uh, brochure, the Mimos pillow brochure. And the little brochure just says Mimos pillow prevents and corrects positional head deformities on babies. And then I think this just says some of the same stuff that the outside, the back of the box said. Yeah, it just says, this little brochure just says uh, the same stuff that the back of the Mimos pillow box said. And then it says, why is the Mimos pillow good for your baby? The Mimos pillow is breathable and safe. Safety certified by laboratory studies. Made of state-of-the-art 3D polyester, it prevents baby from overheating and suffocation. And it just says it's comfortable and it reduces the pressure on the baby's head and the baby gets a better sleep. And it says the pillow is effective. Clinical studies have shown that Mimos triples the effectiveness of full plagiocephaly correction. And Philip was diagnosed by his pediatrician by, with the plagiocephaly. So that's what we want. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to get the brochure here. Uh, here is the little stuff that the brochure says. And yeah, this says it, it's effective at treating uh, the flathead, the flathead thingy. <laughs> and then you open it up. And, oh, and here's the different sizes that you can order. Oops. <laughs> here's the different sizes of the pillow that you can order. They have the extra small, the small, the medium, the large, and the size P, which I guess that's like the biggest size. So, uh, Philip is currently laying on the size small Mimos pillow because his head circumference was between, <laughs> his head circumference was between 36 and 46 centimeters so i ordered philip the size small mimos pillow so this mimos pillow that philip is laying on is the size small because philip's head circumference is between 36 to 46 centimeters and it just says it prevents the flat back of the head and it corrects the problem and makes your baby have a round back of the head so that's what we want we want him to have the round back of the head and we don't want it to have the low self-esteem so if it's a 122 dollar mimos pillow or the low self-esteem we're gonna get the mimos pillow <laughs> okay so anyways yeah and then it just says did you know that a lot of babies don't have a round back of the head that's why i need the mimos pillow yeah so, uh, this is the first day that I have let Philip lay on the $122 Amazon Mimos pillow, but, uh, he seems to like it fine. He hasn't been mad or anything. This is how he normally acts. So, I think Philip likes the Mimos pillow. Do you like it? Do you like it, sweet one? Are you gonna smile on the Mimos pillow? Who loves the Mimos pillow? Exactly. Yeah, but I think it's good so far. But like I said, uh, I think you should just uh, order the Mimos pillow for yourself on Amazon. I'm going to post a link uh, to where you can buy this pillow on Amazon. And you can buy it and it'll be delivered to your house. And you can lay your baby on it during the daytime while you're supervising them. Uh, just use it however you want to use it. But uh, I'll do another video update. After Philip has laid on this Mimos pillow for like maybe like a week or two weeks or a month and I will update you on his progress and show you if his head gets more round or if it stays flat. And there he is turned on his side. Let's try to get him on his side so you can see the back of his head. You gonna turn around? Oh, he's gonna get a little bit mad. Let's turn you around for just one second. Hold on to mommy's head. Okay, here is the current uh, back of Philip's head. It's a little bit flat, as you can tell. Um, so let's try to get him on his side again. Hold mommy's hand. Hold mommy's hand. This is the current 
shape of the back of his head. It's a little bit flat, but we will see in the next video if it gets a little bit more rounded out because it's a little bit flat right now in the back. And uh, yeah, so that's the Mimo's pillow review. I don't know if it's going to make it more round or not, but only time will tell. I'll do another video in a couple of weeks or a month from now, and we can film the back of Philip's head and we can see if it's gotten more round or not. Bye, sweet and friendly mamas. He doesn't want to let go. <laughs> I love you, sweetheart. Bye, sweet and friendly YouTube mamas. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can see all of our baby and breastfeeding journey yeah. products and tips and fun stuff. All right, like my video and subscribe to my yeah. channel. Bye, sweet and friendly YouTube mamas. Say bye. Say we love you. Say I am a cute one. <laughs> Bye. Hi, sweet and friendly YouTube mamas. I'm back. I just wanted to show you an additional paper the Mimos pillow came with. Uh, this is the front of the additional paperwork that came with the Mimos pillow. If you want to take a screenshot really quick uh, for this information. And this is the back of the little pamphlet that comes with your Mimos anti-flat head pillow. If you want to take a screenshot really quick if you want to read the additional information. And I'm going to read you what the additional paperwork uh, says. It just says, instructions for use. Place the baby, <laughs> place the baby in the supine position face up. So you want to put your baby's position face up on the pillow. You don't want your baby with its face down in the pillow. So place your baby in the supine position face up and with his head on the central cavity of the pillow. It is designed to be used when the baby is lying down, either resting or playing, and the pillow adapts perfectly to devices such as the crib or carry cot being also suitable to use in the stroller or group zero devices, size P. <laughs> He's wanting to talk. Oh, you fell off the Mimo pillow. Okay, we better get you back on the pillow. Everybody, get him back up on the pillow. We're back. I think he's getting a little bit fed up with this video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so it just says, like, put your baby face up on the Mimo's pillow. Don't put your baby face down on the Mimo's pillow. And it says, Mimo's pillow distributes the weight of the baby's head on a larger area, avoiding points of higher pressure, which is the main cause of positional cranial deformities. <laughs> He likes the Mimos pillow. <laughs> Says this effect is achieved regardless. <laughs> of the position or orientation. <laughs> that the baby adopts. So yeah. So. The <laughs> Okay, anyways, we're done with this review. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to uh, breastfeed him or get the little stuffed toys out. <laughs> you gonna say hi? You gonna say hi? What's he doing? What's he doing? <laughs> Are you going to talk? Okay. That's a happy one. <gasps> okay, so yeah.
And what does it say about washing the pillow? It says maintenance precautions. Mimos can be washed by hand or in the washing machine, but you always gotta wash it in cold water. <laughs> so wash it in cold water. And uh, it says, we recommend if you wash it in the washing machine that you put it in the washing bag. Do not mix it with the other clothes. And yeah. So you can wash it in the washing machine. It's a good pillow. It's a really nice $122 pillow. Do you like the Mimo pillow? Do you like the Mimo pillow? <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, this is the Mimo pillow. Go and get the. Go get the Mimo pillow. It's legit. Bye. <laughs> Like this video and subscribe to our channel. <laughs>